Hey everyone, welcome to Way Too Late TV. I am your host Sam, and uh, welcome to our new green background for FFXIV, PVP, OMG, and the big three letters of today are PLD. That's right, I'm back on Paladin. I used to play Paladin a whole bunch during the initial Garo event about two years ago. Maybe three, maybe four, who knows? It, it, it It's all a blur to me, but... Back during the uh, initial Garo event, two PvP systems ago, I used to play the hell out of Paladin. And uh, now I've started uh, playing Paladin again, and uh, I'm actually good at it again. So, uh, without any further ado, let's head over to the big board and uh, get started with some PLD with a quick guide. And uh, then we'll get into the matches. Way too late TV. Alright, so. Here we have Kaylee. Um, we are back to playing a little bit of Kaylee right now. Um, we're going to switch between her and uh, Samira a little bit uh, for today's uh, installment. Um, Kaylee, um, back to her long white hair. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a guide for uh, Paladin, just to look at some of Paladin's powers. Um, we're going to go back up to uh, the top of the ship to do the guide, because there's usually hardly anyone up here on these striking dummies. So, now that. First things first. Your regular powers are the Royal Authority combo. Fast Blade, Riot Blade, Royal Authority. This is your basic damage combo. You're going to get pretty much all your damage done through these, except for two other powers. This is what you're going to be hitting with on pretty much all your filler. And then two other powers, Intervene, Shield Bash, will give you a Atonement when they give you Sword Oath when you use them. Sword Oath stacks three times. Sword Oath changes the Royal Authority combo to Atonement. Atonement does 8,000 damage and heals you for 4,000. You can have up to three stacks of Sword Oath at a time. Not that hard to do that. You just intervene, Shield Bash, intervene. You get two stacks of intervene and one Shield Bash in there. Confidior is your AoE. Deals unexpected damage with a potency of 8,000 to target and all enemies nearby it. Afflicts target with Sacred Claim. Sacred Claim lasts for 10 seconds and heals you for 2,000 every time you hit a target with Sacred Claim on. Shield Bash delivers an attack with a potency of 4,000 and stuns for 3 seconds. It also grants a stack of Sword Oath for 10 seconds. This is your crowd control. You hit them for 4,000 damage and you stun them for 3 seconds, which is a long stun. A really long stun, honestly. Intervene. Rushes the target and delivers an attack with a potency of 2,000. Grants a stack of Sword Oath for 10 seconds. You get two charges of Intervene, meaning that you get to gap close twice. And now we have Guardian. Rush to a target party member's side. Take all damage intended for the targeted party member for 10 seconds. Can only be executed when member is closer than 10 yawns. This is both a blessing and a curse. It can be a blessing to that party member, but only if the Paladin is just absolutely stacked with defense. Which brings me to the next power, Holy Sheltron. Grants Holy Sheltron and Knight's Resolve. Creates a barrier around yourself that absorbs damage equivalent to a heal of 12,000 potency for 5 seconds. Also, reduces damage taken by 20% for 10 seconds. The barrier is not absorbed and the effect duration expires, deals unaspected damage to all nearby enemies with a potency of 2,000 plus half of the barrier's remaining potency. You hit Holy Sheltron, it's got a 20 second recast, you hit Guardian, fly to the side of one of your uh, teammates that's just getting absolutely roughed up. You save them, and as long as you don't get polymorphed by some rogue white mage, you're both gonna live. Hopefully. On to the Limit Break. Phalanx. Grants the effect of Hallowed Ground to Self and Phalanx to nearby party members. Hallowed Ground Effect renders you impervious to all attacks for 10 seconds. Reduces damage taken by half for 10 seconds for all your party members in the area. Additional Effect. Grants Blades of Faith ready. 
for 10 seconds. Now, Blade of Faith is part of a three-part combo that Paladins get in PvP. There's Blade of Faith, Blade of Truth, and Blade of Valor. They're the level 90 power that Paladins get in PvE. And each one restores HP when successfully landing an attack on targets under this effect for each hit for 10 seconds. So you just keep slamming that limit break button once you've found your target. With the guide done, let's jump into a little bit of ranked. Let's make sure the uh, instant portrait's set. All right, we're going into the Palaistra, which is the normal map. Team Umbra. Okay, Astrologian, Sage, Scholar, Dancer, and Paladin. We are lacking DPS. Bard, White Mage, Scholar, Summoner, and Machinist. They are not lacking DPS. Pulling me, that's annoying. Stop it. Team go. Push. Okay, yeah, push, push the crystal.
was good. I don't know how we did that, but we did it. Recommendations too. <laughs> I, I I honestly don't know how we did that. I don't. The reason I was quiet during that whole match is because I was concentrating and holy crap that worked out. Holy crap that worked out. Holy crap. Alright, here we go. Team Umbra. Going in on ranked on Paladin.
There's a kill. There we go. That warrior was outstanding. Woo! Four kills, ten assists. Damn, son. I did good. And now it's time for Sam's top three ways for me to improve in PvP today. Number one, know when to use Phalanx, the limit break, to turn the tide. Using Phalanx gives you complete immunity to damage, and it gives your teammates half damage taken. Now this can be extremely useful when on the crystal right near the end or in a big fight trying to get the enemy down so that you can actually move the crystal yourself. It's extremely important to know when to use this. If you waste it, it's about a minute and a half to two minutes before you get your limit break back. Also, keep in mind that you can be polymorphed, you can be crowd controlled when you are invincible. That sucks. When you use Phalanx, you have access to the Blade of Valor combo. Use that to either bring down a single enemy, bring down a number of enemies, all in close proximity, or just make it so that when your teammates are hitting enemies, they're getting health back. When you're invincible, that might be a good time to use Guardian as well. Number two, don't use Intervene, the Gap Closer, while on the Crystal in Overtime. I've made this mistake several times. It's just second nature for me to use Intervene. Being a samurai main previously, you jump off the crystal three seconds pass and you know, that's the end of that. I'm not proud to say it, but I, I, I've lost several games that way, including rank matches. I, I have wanted to spam the sorry key, but I've only hit it once because spamming is just no bueno. Just be very careful with your intervene usage while in overtime when you're on the crystal. Number three, always be attacking. 
filler is still damage. Use your Riot Blade combo, whatever damage you can put out, put out. You're not a machine made for damage, but whatever you can put out helps. And that's my top three ways for me, at least, to improve in PvP today. Paladin Edition. And that's all for the Paladin Centric Edition here on Way Too Late TV of FFXIV PvP OMG uh, Episode 7. And um, I want to thank everyone out there for joining me. Uh, it has been a fun one. Um, Samira is still mired in bronze. Um, Kaylee has actually made it to gold. Um, and that has been a blessing. Um, gold is its own beast. Um, you're getting platinum players as well. Um, uh, but, you know, it is it's it is what it is. And uh, Pafufu is... Um, I haven't been playing Pafufu that much. So, you know just another uh just another character to get into silver gold whatever um anyway i want to uh invite you all to uh any day of the week any time of the day to uh join me at waytolatetv.com right there waytolatetv.com and um at waytolatetv.com you will find my twitter my youtube playlist for every single series that i do and a couple other bits and bobs that i'm sure you'll find entertaining so in the meantime, good night, my night owls. Sleep well, boop, when you get there. Way too late to be.